It is enough to freak out anyone who likes to fish. An invasive, exotic species of fish eating up and crowding out the good local fish so many Southwest Floridians like to eat. Four in your corners, Katie Jones, showing you how anglers in Collier County are now fighting back in a very bloody battle. They're mean, they're dangerous, and they've been sneaking around right here in Collier County waters. So to stop these lionfish from destroying practically everything in sight, one Naples fisherman took matters into his own hands. It was a lionfish encounter earlier this year that speared Bill De Antuano's mission for change. My friends caught a lionfish out in front of Vanderbilt Beach about 100 yards out. Um, and that was about in February. Wanting to kill the invasive species, Bill's hands were tied. He was banned from using the one tool capable of taking them out. It's the only way to get rid of them. Um, you can't target them on hook and line. Since the 1950s, Collier was the only county in the state of Florida that banned spear fishing. So Bill started a petition that's now turned into a movement. His Naples Spear Fishing League Facebook page shows even more proof of these deadly creatures. Well, they go after the grouper, snapper, even Florida lobster. They'll eat anything that is there, they'll eat. So they'll continue to eat and eat until someone spears him. His concern caught the eyes of Collier County commissioners who asked Florida Fish and Wildlife to repeal the ban. So starting June 30th, lionfish are fair game. An FWC spokeswoman tells me these fish have no predators and are destroying our ecosystem. They're found as far north as Rhode Island and in the Gulf all the way over to Texas. So we have this invasive species that the population is continuing to grow. You're seeing them more and more. After months and months of hard work and worry, Bill says he's now sharpening his spears and ready to thin the herd. I'm glad to see that, you know, we had the community support along with commissioners and FWC. Biggest thing about it is that there's a lot of people that have been asking me, when can we spearfish? So, it's, you know, it's good to know that a lot of people cared about this issue. Now, there are some rules and regulations to what you can and can't spear. We've posted the information to our website. Just head to fox4now.com and then click on the big red four. Reporting in Collier County tonight, Katie Jones, Fox 4, in your corner.